Winter and it's uh, Thursday, I think. Yeah, this is uh, unbelievable. Actually, it's not unbelievable, it is November, but uh, sometimes we get all the way to January with no snow. It's nice, I like this. I prefer this to the November rain. Yeah, anyway, I'm on my way to work now. Uh, it's 8.15 in the morning. I have no idea what's going on today. Today might be quite boring, but we'll see. I came in here because there's something quickly I want to talk about and before I start this I want to say that the company that makes the product that I'm about to show here has no idea that I'm making this video they're not paying me anything uh, I just wanted to talk good about it because this is something that I've found that's really awesome um, so a few let's let's put you somewhere where we can is that is that good yeah okay so um a couple years ago i started beta testing um this device for a company called loop deck and basically what it is it's like tactile controls uh to be able to edit video uh, with actually the original device was meant for um, Lightroom and Photoshop and for like color correcting and it has all the knobs for all the color controls uh, however they modified it so that it would work with um, uh, Adobe Premiere and I've been using it for that and testing that but now they just came out with a new model and this is what it looks like yeah, pretty cool, huh? All right, let's have a look. This has all kinds of features, like for these touch panels, you can swipe and tap. So this basically now, this wheel now moves five frames at a time. So you can scrub through. Uh, then there's zoom, so you can zoom the entire timeline with one knob. Uh, then there's this uh, select clip. So basically it just goes through and selects the next clip just by turning the dial there. There's all kinds of like features like these um, ripple start, ripple end, ripple delete, uh, selection tools. Then you can even hit another bank and you get like all the color correction tools. Uh, you have your temperature, white, saturation, contrast blacks, tint. Uh, I have, if I want to just check the colors, I have it one touch here. The whole thing is now full screen. Uh, this is just uh, really unbelievable. Then there's audio controls separately, keyframe tools, pen tool, uh, volume levels all that uh, 
let's see there's just the, the amount of features in this thing are just really amazing i recommend you go try it out the company is called loop deck if you edit video at all this is the company loop deck l-o-u-p-e deck and the thing is is that if i open up now uh photoshop and immediately all the tools change to photoshop tools so you have like lasso brush type tool healing tools or so on and so forth and uh, the same with lightroom uh if i remember right the same with illustrator and and then when it's then when i go away from those this changes to just basic like computer controls like play pause back forward um volume system volume yeah it's very cool and uh i normally like don't endorse products at all and like i said they didn't pay me to do this at all or they didn't give me that's not why they gave me this. I've been beta testing these. I've had this device since August and it just launched uh, last week. But I've been pay I, I but I've been I've been beta testing for a while now and I just thought that like this is now they got it right. This device is amazing. It's not that expensive. I don't rem remember exactly how much it is, but go check it out if you just want to have a look on their website. It's I like it. Studios is a disaster again. I'm about to start some trouble out there. Not today, though. maybe tomorrow. <sighs> so depressing. All right, I'm going home. Headed home now, and um, it is really dark outside. It's like four o'clock, and it was dark like an hour ago. And it's only gonna get darker until December. dark. This is the beginning of the winter. Yeah. This has not been that eventful of a day. I'm sorry. I wanted to record a video today, but uh, it just ended up not much going on as I had hoped. I also wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to make a video because of the snow. That was pretty cool. But, uh, yeah. Also, I've been trying to film a lot more lately, but uh, it's just impossible in this low light situations. Everything looks terrible. Did you see the last video I posted of the of the uh, alley cat race? All at night with these little cameras like GoPros and 360 cams. They just do not do well in the low light. It's like, that's like half the year here is dark. I'm just gonna have to invest in more expensive cameras. trash run yeah so uh, as I was saying it's really dark and uh, there's no difference between when I came home uh, earlier at 5 and now which is 8 it's just dark 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 I've known this now for 16 winters but somehow this winter is just really starting to hit me 
and uh, yeah yeah so you can see the challenge of trying to like film in the dark it's just near impossible okay now I'm standing out here in the cold with a lighter trying to film a video that didn't quite work out today but now you know why and at least I've explained myself just a little bit okay good night Stay to the ground, shifting sun.